Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. My hair looks like a mess but I'm going to fix it. I just want to do my makeup. I'm actually going to my sister. It's her husband's birthday today so we are going to go and eat some lunch and just spend some time together. Uh, try to hold distance of course social distance but it's just going to be her family and my family and our mom. So I'm going to do a very nice soft glam makeup look actually using the products uh, for the first time that i haven't used before that i got in my subscription boxes but also a couple of things that are purchased uh, that are new launch or old launch something i was kind of curious about so this is going to be a, a very interesting video some new and some old favorites from you guys and other influencers and let's just dive in and see what we are going to use today so if you're interested to see what products I'm going to use and how it's going to look, then please keep on watching. I feel like I'm all over the place in this video actually because I have no idea what actually I'm going to create. I have products in front of me. It's a mess here, but I'm, the first thing I'm going to use today, it's the Echo Perfecting Serum Smoothing Face Booster. Improvised skin tone, smooth texture and deeply hydrates. Pure Gold. This is a Swedish brand and uh, I'm going to put information down below for everything. And this is a very nice, it's like a face serum that actually does what it's supposed to do. And I just cleared my face with Huda Beauty uh, Wishful. Took away all dead skins. And while this is sinking, I'm going to prime my eyelids with Hourglass Veal Eyeshadow Primer. I do like it. Do I find my eyelids to be a little bit too oily this season? I don't really know why. Even my Wet n Wild and um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer that delivers 12 hours, 11-12 hours of beautiful eye makeup look actually doesn't do that. And the products are not old, but I don't know what's happening with my skin. It's still not, you know, dry. I don't want my eyelids to be dry, but not that oily. I don't know what's happening. Maybe hormones. Who know? Who knows? But I feel very comfortable now filming again and excited. I'm going to set my makeup a little bit. Oh, I should have primed just a little bit. I'm going to use a foundation on top soon. And I'm going to now use this vitamin, uh, vitamin enriched face base, which is about a vitamin C and A from Bobbi Brown. And I've used this before and I do like it. I've been using it especially now when I am using the, uh, what's it called, the um, powder foundation. I love to have this as a base. Smells very fresh, very nice. I also will go in with a Day Maximal Sense um, Academy Clinic SPF 50 face cream, just a little bit. And it's there are no. It's very rainy today, but I still want to use a touch of this sun cream, and it doesn't leave any white cast. It's perfect if you have oily or combo skin. And we are going to use the J, J Carrot powder foundation today. I have three shades, but today I'm going to use the shade Natural and also the shade Ivory. We're going to use those shades. But before we do that, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Concealer. This is very light for me. This is shade Morange. 4 n It's a little bit light, but we are going to use just a little bit to cover my dark circles. And I love this concealer. It feels cold on the skin. feels very nice. We're going to blend it. And I use a little bit, but look how much coverage you get. I broke my nail. I broke this nail like here, down here, very low. It hurt, it hurts. It feels like it has his own, it, its own heart. Uh, it bleeded a lot. 
and I'm trying to let it grow and I will try to cut it but it hurts I'm going to set my eyes with this shade ivory and I am going to use the Tarty Beauty Tarty Beauty this thing that I forgot the name I've been using this for uh, the, for powder foundation that is what it's not so clean clean but I've been using it and I love this thing especially for powder foundations and then I'm going to go in with the shade neutral all over my face so what's new with you guys see this is a little bit darker but we are going to use both shades and kind of mix the ivory is too light and this one is just a little bit darker so I'm going to blend these shades together soon so what's happening with you guys everything okay with you I really like this foundation it's lightweight it covers everything and it feels very nice on my skin and I love this puff because it really creates this nice face so I'm going to go back with this lighter shade ivory this light shade is out of stock everywhere I wanted to buy more but it's out of stock everywhere here in Sweden though but I can't purchase anything from the website so I'm going to go in with this brush dip it just a little bit and but I'm going to go in first with the face palette and go with this contour shade up here. This palette is the... What's the name of this palette there? Classy. Classy. And I've been loving this shade for contour. Let's go in with this small brush to contour. Contour the nose. So let's go in with the bronzer that they. There goes a the brush. Bronzer that they released not long ago. This is shade Gold Coast, and this is the next lightest shade. But they are easy to build up. Very, very beautiful bronzers. I really love their bronzers. Let's use this blush brush. will have more control. I love using this big fluffy brush for my bronzer, but I'm going to use a smaller from BH Cosmetics right now because you get more precise uh, placement of the powder for bronzer. My hair is a mess, guys. Heat it right now. This bronzer is not mad, but it's not glowy either. It gives you ni that nice sheen, sun-kissed look. And I love bronzer, so I am going to build it up. For the blush, I'm going to use a brush that I got in my subscription boxes. I think it was last month. This is Near Nye 305 Radiant Blush brush. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. This is vegan. I probably, this is not tested on animals. Recyclable. Nice things. I don't know if you can read it, but it's a nice blush. Brush looks nice. I haven't used it before, and I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to use the Bella Pier Cosmetics blush in Amaretto. This is mineral blush. I haven't used mineral blushes be before. I don't. I don't think so. I don't remember. And now, because I broke my nail, can't use my finger, I need to use tweezers to release a little bit of this. This shade is called Amaretto Bella Pier. Let's swatch it. It looks like it has sheen. 
I'm nice. I don't know if you can see it here. Try it. We'll try it and see what we can get. Hope it's not too pigmented. I'm going to dip a brush into this. I'm not really a big fan of mineral blushes, but we'll see. I'm scared of using them. Ooh, that's nice. Very soft. It's not too pigmented, which is good. Let's take a little bit more. Tap the excess. Oh, this br brush is also very nice. I like this blush. Goes very well with the bronzer and the rest of the makeup. Blends nice into the foundation. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I haven't tried this before. Very happy about that product. And the blush is ama brush is amazing. We are going to go into highlighter before we go over to the face, uh, to the eye makeup, not face makeup. That's what we've been, been doing for 15 minutes now. Kaya Cosmetics Highlighter in shade Sydney. I love this highlighter. Really, really beautiful highlighter. And I'm going to use the Sosu brush and Kayla highlighter brush. And look at that glow. That's everything. And what I like to do when I use the powder highlighter is to go with a wet sponge and just blend it into the skin. It looks more natural. Tip of the nose. Keep it well. Okay. Interesting. I also have the Jaclyn Hill palette here. I just want to go in with this one and go into this uh, Sparks shade here just a little bit. I love her palette. Okay. I am going to go in just a little bit with the Veil Translucent powder with a huge brush just to kind of make everything melt into the skin. Not a lot of the powder. I love this powder. It feels like it kind of blends all the makeup together, gives that natural soft glow. Okay, so for the eyebrows, I am going to go in with the product I haven't been using um, on my camera a lot, but this is Urban Glow Brow Game. and powder and I tried this on my channel before review this and I really like this powder uh, brow product I've been using it off camera a lot I really love using it with this BH Cosmetics eyebrow brush it's very easy to build up but also easy to blend I need to fix my eyebrows, trim them and everything, but I'm too lazy to do that. Okay, let's go in with a product that I haven't tried before. And I think I just tried it once when I opened the subscription boxes. This is uh, Ayako, Ayako Brow Gel, Style and Define Brow Gel. I think it's clear. And let's just... Feels nice. Not bad. And for eye makeup, we are going to go in um, before we do our makeup. Can I do some use something on my lips because my lips look very boring? I'm going to use this is the NYX lip liner in shade. Well, I wish waterproof, nude, Daphne, Daphne lip liner. And I think, I don't know if I got it in one of my subscription boxes or it's sealed, and it's sealed, I need to open it. Or if I got it in a calendar, Christmas calendar, Nick's Christmas calendar, I'm not really sure. It's been 
laying in my drawer where I have the makeup I haven't tried before that I want to film with. And I just picked it up today because I feel like this is a very nice shade. And it's it just twisted, which I like a lot. Let's just try it. Ooh, beautiful shade. It looks like it's my lip color. It's creamy but also dry formula, uh, which I like. It's easy to use, but it's not too creamy, so it's going to move around. Oh my god, this is a perfect tool to line with. My new favorite. My new favorite. So I do like uh, Rebecca Stella's liners. I did bought the full collection, the new nude collection. I'm going to review that on my channel. But I really, really like this lip pen. And now for the lips, I'm going to try the lip balm Essence in shade Kiss Me lip balm number one. Also sealed. Hate that, especially when I have gel nails on. Okay, let's see. You twist, yes, you twist. Mm, so creamy. Oh my god, this go this goes perfect with this lip liner. I think this is my new favorite combo. Mm. Mm, guys, this is a perfect shade. For my lips. I love that combo. I don't know if I showed you. I love this combo. Feels very soft and nice on the lips. Good, now we go to the eyes. I'm going to use the Steven Laurent and Glossy Box Wild Thing palette that I got in my Glossy Box last month. I haven't used this at all. I didn't even swatch it. And it looks like this. Nice shades. So let's just go take a brush and start because I don't really have a lot of time to play with makeup. But I just re really, but I really want to create a makeup look for you guys. I'm going to use Kaya Cosmetics brush number six. And I'm going to go in with this light shade up here. Oh, very powdery though. I oh, know this is, it's cruelty free. It says cruelty free on the packaging, which is nice. I'm going to go in with this shade here and dip up the crease. They are very powdery, but they look like they are going to blend nice. This one is giving me a problem here. Where I have a lot of skin. I have hooded eyes, so I do have a lot of skin here. But nice. My looks more open. I like that. And then I'm going to go in back with that first shade we had in the crease to so just blend the edges. So it looks seamless. I feel like this palette goes very nice with my dress that I have on. Okay, so I am going to take a smaller brush because I do want to go in with this black shade in this palette. It looks like dark gray black, this shade here. And I don't know how pigmented it is because it's very powdery, so we are going to be careful. I just want to dip up the edge here. Looks like gray, brown, black, I don't know. Nice shade though. It's not too pigmented, but still pigmented, which is nice for beginners. And that is what I like with subscription boxes, giving the palettes that everybody can use, even people that are just starting with the makeup. And giving them a chance to create this nice look. Oh, this looks beautiful. 
and I'm going to go in with uh, this shade here, this pocket shade with my finger actually, and try to take it just half of the way, blend it into this, I don't know what to call, black shade, black gray shade. It's nice. And then I'm going to use my little finger and go into, first we went with this shade, now we're going to go with this shade here, the lighter shade in this palette. And try to go very close to the tear dot. Oh, that's, that's nice. I like that shade. So I'm going to go back and forward to blend this shade into each other. I like that. That's very nice and soft. I really think it looks very nice. I'm going to use another brush. I know this is eyeshadow brush, doesn't... It's a little bit fluffy but also flat, soft. And uh, I know what brand it is. It's an old brush. I'm going to go in with the shade that we had in the crease, that we dipped up the crease, this one. And uh, blend it on the lower lash line all the way. With the same brush, I'm going to go in the first shade that we had, the lightest crease shade, and just blend the edges down here. There is a little bit of fallout. I can see that. And then I'm going to use a very small flat brush and go in this shade that we had here. And I want this a little bit lighter, so I'm going to go in Care Cosmetics Highlighter and go in and pop up it here. Love this highlighter. And down here. So. I think this looks very nice. To finish the makeup, I'm going to set everything with with, oh, with wheel, the setting, hourglass setting spray. But before we do the mascara, of course, press. For the mascara, I am going to go in with the one that I do. I do have a new mascara, but I am saving that for another video that's coming soon on my channel. But I am going to fix and use the L'Oreal Paradise. And we do have a new product that I haven't used before that I want to use in this video. I'm not going to wear any lashes today. It's not that kind of party, but I do want to build up my mascara. Okay, so the last product we are going to use today is the product that's been out for years and years and years. And I always wanted to try it, but I never had a chance until today. So Insta Sexy Lips for Too Faced Lip Injections. I heard good and bad stuff about this product. Some people think it works, some people think it doesn't work. I do want to make my upper lip a little bit more plumpier, but without anything adding to it, into the lip. But I did bought this travel size and it looks very nice. I'm going to make, just have it in the center. Tastes nice. Yeah. I don't know. Can't feel anything right away, but oh, I'm not up there. I 
I don't feel anything right now, but it looks nice on the lips. It does make them look a little bit plump here, the glossy look. Okay, guys, I'm going to go fix my hair, but I'm going to end this makeup here, or this makeup look here, because I don't have a lot of time. But this is the final look. I think it looks very, very nice. Don't look at my hair, though. But I'm very happy how everything turned out. I really am happy with all of these products. I'm going to go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye guys.